This morning, a dangerous late summer scorcher slamming the Midwest with millions set to experience some of the hottest temperatures of the year. Hey, this is probably the hottest summer we've had in a while. In Chicago, where the heat index is expected to hit a jaw dropping 115 degrees, crowds are flocking to Lake Michigan. The sand will burn your feet. Chicago Public Schools stressing all classrooms have air conditioning. We're making sure that all of our children are safe. Mother Nature's severe weather footprint stretching far and wide with flooding at the Minnesota State Fair and heavy rain, even hail in New England. Meanwhile, in Alaska, we need to get out of here. Chilling new drone video providing a bird's eye view of the devastation caused by Sunday's slide. Mandatory evacuation orders remain in place as authorities in the seaside town of Ketchikan fear after so much weekend rain, a second slide may be looming. Officials IDing Sean Griffin, a husband, father, and public works employee, as the man who died trying to clear stormwater drains during the downpour, writing it was his commitment to the community that caused him to respond to the call for assistance during his scheduled time off. Among the homes destroyed, Tommy and Stephen Varela Cossacks, that white one lost when a neighbor's home crashed into it. Our neighbor's house had fallen on top of our house and kind of pushed the whole thing off the foundations. The couple finding their cat, Dipper, and dog, Benny, trapped inside, scared but unharmed. I feel like really fortunate that things that I needed out of my home, my husband and my animals are, were able to get out and I have them. We're so glad they're okay. And back here in the Midwest and amid our worsening climate crisis, a lot of cities in this region are experiencing a top three hottest year on record. And meanwhile, a lot of communities on the East Coast and the West Coast are seeing their hottest years ever. Chanel. My goodness. All right, Maggie, thank you. Al is here tracking that storm, this heat threat. This is going to affect a lot of folks. It absolutely is, Peter. Chanel, good morning. Good morning to all of you. 72 million people from the Midwest all the way to the Northeast under heat advisories and heat warnings. Jet stream way up to the north. High pressure pumping up warm, moist air. So it's going to feel like, as Maggie said, 110 in Chicago. Cleveland, you're going to feel like 100 degrees. We're looking at St. Louis up to about 109. And then tomorrow, more of the same with heat indexes. Mid 90s into the low 100s, triple digits for Louisville, for Raleigh, for Memphis as well, New York City. And then as we move into the next few days toward the weekend, temperatures actually start to cool down. But why? Because of a cold front that's going to be generating some severe weather. Take a look at last night. This is from the Minnesota Twins game, a rainbow and lightning strikes at the same time. This is very rare to see something like this. And we've got Minneapolis under the gun again with some more severe weather pushing in this evening, this afternoon, right now. And it's moving across the Great Lakes. As we watched for today, we've got the risk for severe weather. 29 million people from Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Cleveland, Erie. Airport delays will be a problem. And then we move into tomorrow. That moves into the Northeast. 42 million people at risk for severe weather, damaging winds, low tornado risk. So that's the one good thing. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.